What is going on, fellow Gaslanders, gamers, everybody who's tuning into this channel? It's your boy, Fo, and I'm coming at you with another unboxing video. What I'm doing is I made an order, and I needed some more bits for my Gaslands vehicles, and the package came today. It's from your boy Ken over from the Facebook Gaslands. Now, what I did was I was looking for great tires. Okay, I ordered some stuff from Mad Cars, and if you go back a couple of videos, you could see my unboxing of the Mad Car stuff. But I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't overly impressed with the tires from Mad Cars. I thought they were fine for what they were, but I wanted something a little better. Something a little more meatier, and I jumped on the Facebook, and the Gas Sands Facebook is such a fantastic place, by the way. It's just a great bunch of people all talking about Gas Lands, and it's fantastic. And all you gotta do is mention tires. That you're looking for cool tires to go along with your Gaslands cars. And good old Ken pops up in your comments and he's like, you need tires? Guess what? Guess what? I got you covered. You need some weapons? Guess what? I got those too. You need some other textured materials for your cars? Guess what? I have it all, baby. I got diamond plate. I got cool metal siding. I got cool turrets. I got cool tires. We all know, and we all have seen these tires on Facebook, and they look fantastic, and that's why I had to jump on there and order some. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do an unboxing for you, and we're gonna get into it. Just like on my other video with the Mad Cars, I'm gonna unbox it, and then I'm gonna take the camera, I'm gonna get in close, and we're gonna take a look at all of the Gaslands goodness. Now just looking at the package right out the gate, he's like me. When I send packages, I like to reinforce the edges with a little bit of tape, make sure the box doesn't come apart in shipping, and it looks like he did all that, so kudos to you, dude. I do the same exact thing. I actually take a little bit, I, I take it a little step further, I'm a little bit anal, and I actually put tape over any of the cracks in case it's a rainy day or whatever. You won't get any rain inside the box, but this is fantastically packed. This is pretty much how I send my packages when I do a, uh, when I sell some models or I paint up a um, model for somebody. I take the same care in making sure everything is all taped off. So let's get into the box. Got out the knife here. We're gonna cut into this tape. We're gonna open this bad boy. They get a, a genuine reaction. Cause I haven't seen these parts in person yet. And I'm so excited. It's crazy. I was waiting for these things all week. Let me tell you, the shipping was pretty fast. From when I ordered it, to it arriving on my doorstep took about maybe 10 days. You know, he had um, taken my order, he had to get the parts made, and he had to get it all sent over to me. So I'm just gonna cut into this box a little better. I kinda wanted to salvage the box, but I don't know about that. So it seems a lot of packing materials in here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all of this Gaslands goodness just pouring out of this bad boy. Right, so, stuffed it with some bags, making sure there's nothing all caught up in there. All right. 
ditch the box and let's dig in. So far what I'm seeing, I'm liking. And he has all the bags numbered. He has, oh, he has well over a hundred different tires now. We're pretty close to it. I think he just recently came out with another 15 sets of tires and it's getting out of control. Like the, the variety of tires he has on his Facebook page that you could pick from is ridiculous. I was like a kid in a candy store just looking at all these tires. So what I'm doing is I'm separating. I bought some weapons. I bought some turrets. I bought a bunch of tires. Wow. These things are just looking good. These are gonna look fantastic. So far what I'm seeing, I'm impressed. Everything is looking really good. At first glance. Now, the main reason why I went out and I wanted to get this order right away was because I have a couple of cars. And in this video, I'll probably pull it out and give you guys a little sneak peek on my next build. But I've been wanting to get to work on, the, on a couple of cars that I had picked up. I have a really cool idea for my next build, but I wanted to put some really nice tires on it. And I wanted the weapons to be really cool. Like I have access to some 40K bits and other little things I use for like weapons, but I really wanted some nice scale weapons that were just nicely printed up or made up. So I held off on working on those cars until I got my hands on some cool stuff. All right, so what I'm gonna do is that's basically how they came out of the box. Nothing seems to be broken. Everything seems to be in place. Nothing seems damaged. So shipping went over well. I'm gonna take the camera off the mount and let's get in some close-ups of some of the pieces. All right, we're back and we got a couple of tires out of the packages. So this is wheel set 17. And getting a close-up of these bad boys, they're looking pretty great. You got a lot of the detail, shows in really nice. The treads on these are just amazing. Like, look at those treads. They're just fantastic. Let me come back over here, you get a better view. Those treads are just amazing. And the detail is just fantastic all around. So these, you could either glue these right into the side of the vehicle, or what you can do, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could drill into these tires and you could get an, and you could take an axle and get them in there and like, uh, so they could spin, if that's what you're into. I don't, I glue my, my tires. I know a lot of people like to keep them spinning, um, I like to glue mine just, you know, just because if we're playing a game and someone knocks into the table, you don't have cars rolling down the uh, track or across the table. And then you're like, where was this thing? I don't know. And, you know, so I tend to just, just glue my vehicle, my, my tires in. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Look at those hubcaps. Hubcaps are looking fantastic. And the treads, like, I keep on talking about these treads. It's just great. Let me bust out another pair. All right, here we have tire set 14. Now, what I love about these, you know, I was super excited about these. These are the double wide back tires. So it comes with two extra tires and you kind of stack them. Well, I'm trying to grab them right here, so. You got the double wide tires, so, you know what, let me, I wanted to pop a couple right off the sprue, and let me tell you something, these things pop right off the sprue, and 
the flash is really not that bad. Like you saw they were attached to the sprue and you kind of, you know, getting a little worried. Like comparing them to the Mad Cars tires, they were on that sprue, they were attached with a pretty thick piece of plastic or resin, or whatever. And these have such a thin layer attached to it that they kind of just pop right off the sprue and you're, and you're left with very little plastic. So it's turning out really super cool. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. That's not going to be a lot of work to really clean it up. So kudos to Ken, man. Like, these just are looking great. Now, what I love about these tires are, this is the one where you take these and you connect these tires. So you have the double tires connected together. So you have the double tires for the back. That's going to look really sweet on the back of a couple of my cars. And those snap together perfect and they fit great. They go right on, I'm gonna pop that right onto the back of a car and we're good to go. This is tire set number 47. And just like I said, they just came right off the sprue, very little trouble, super thin layer a flash, look at that, it just comes off with my finger. Like, I'm just knocking with my finger and it's coming off. Look at that, right off. And you're left with just a good looking tire. So the cleanup process of this is surprisingly great. Like, he has his casting down to a science. Like these things are just looking fantastic all around. Look at that, just fantastic. The hubcaps in the center of these tires look great. I'm just so excited to get these tires on my cars. I got the perfect car for these tires. I know exactly what car these are going on. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to make some videos with the builds that I have in mind using these tires. This is gonna be fantastic. So another set, this, is, this set came in a set of six. So these are gonna be, I bought these for my war rig. So I got some nice, just beefy looking that like hard, really hard, hardcore rubber tires. with The good treads that's good for on and off road. And I bought these for the war rig. So expect that coming soon. Another reason why I haven't worked on a war rig yet is because I wanted to get some cool guns, I wanted to get some cool wheels, and they're all here, so expect that coming soon too. Check these out, man. Fantastic. Like, all I could say is good things. Like, I'm, I'm looking for negative things to say, and I really can't find anything negative to say about these tires at the moment. Just popped another one off, one of these off the sprue, and look at that. That's it, the flash, I just wiped it away with my finger. It's crazy. Got that little bit of flash right there, which by the way, you spend a little bit of careful time with your putty knife and you're not even gonna notice that flash. You know, for, you know, I'm just saying, like for what's out there at the moment, these are definitely, I'm gonna say it, man. I think these are the best tires out there. And they pr I haven't seen all the tires out there, but so what I'm expecting from the rest of the tires is just, you know, equally as good stuff. And here we have tire sets one and tire set 69. These are fantastic as well. Hubcaps are looking great. Treads are looking great, just like you would expect. You got a little bit of flash over here that is going to be easy to take off. Very little bit. Just looking great all around. I'm coming to just see that these tires are just phenomenal. Here's one that just came popped right off the sprue. I mean, look at those hubcaps. Look at those hubcap detail, man. It's just fantastic. Hubcaps are looking great. 
treads are looking great. I might put these on my on my war rig to tell you the truth. These are fantastic as well. These might actually go on my war rig. These are great. What do you say we look at some guns? What we got here is this is weapon set number one. So you got a sprue with some mini guns. And the mini guns are looking fantastic. But let me clear some of this background away. This way we get a better, closer view of these models. So weapon set one has a bunch of mini guns on, on these nice mounts so they could fit right on top of any vehicle. I took one of the mini guns off the sprue so we get a good look at it. And just like the tie is, the detail is nice. There's minimal flash. The flash comes off pretty easy. And I think these are gonna look fantastic when they're on the vehicles. The weapons are just as good as the tires quality wise. On this one you have, on the other sprue you have some more, you got some machine guns that are mounted that you could put somebody on the back of them firing. So you got some mounted machine guns, turrets I should say. So you get, if you have a, someone standing up, you get a model behind it, put in the back of a pickup truck and you got a mounted machine gun baby. Some more weapons. You got like a little cannon. You got a cannon, another machine gun. Some more mounts. Got what looks like to be like an ammo box that's feeding into one of the machine guns. That's pretty sweet. More mini guns. Mini guns galore. We all know the mini gun is the go to. You know, you're gonna spend a little bit more points than normal on a gun. Like, you know, normally you get a machine gun or a heavy machine gun, but if you wanna splurge a little bit, you always look to the minigun. The minigun's really popular in gas, but hold on. All right, I look over my shoulder. I don't know if my wife was gonna be, if my wife was like sneaking around. We're good, we're in the clear. All right, so getting back to these miniguns. Um, the minigun is like the go-to weapon. I know it's my go-to gun. I love the minigun. It's like just the right amount of mini fire, uh, bleh, just the right amount of machine gun fire or minigun fire for the cost. You get the best bang for your buck with the minigun, in my opinion. I think it's just a great all-around gun. So I'm happy you got a bunch of them. And then here we got some more mounts and antennas looking great this is so you could put it up in like the back of a pickup truck or something and you could put your your mount so you get a nice tall mount so someone could be standing that's pretty neat it's looking good this we got weapon pack number three now weapon pack number three was a bunch of machine guns bunch of heavy machine guns and when I seen it I had to grab it you got some nice machine guns on here and this looks like it could actually be a laser or a rail gun so that's pretty neat then you have another machine gun drum clip that's looking pretty cool you got another cannon that's pretty nice two more cannons And then you have what looks like to be like an M like like an M249 mounted on there. That's pretty cool. M60. I'm digging those. Like I said, the detail is looking great, man. Look at that. Look at that thin. Look how thin that flash is. It's fantastic. It just peels right off. So these are gonna look great when you pull them off the sprue as well. Like, look at that, the flesh is just coming off on its own. Fantastic. Then we have weapon pack number four. This is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna go over. I got a lot more tires. I'm not gonna go over all the tires, but I think I went over enough tires to give you guys an idea 
of just how nice those tires are. But here's Weapon Pack 4. Weapon Pack 4 came with rockets and a lot of missile stuff. So you got these two, which are kind of like, you could use them as missile pods and they could fire off like a bunch of mini rockets. That's what I would use it for. Or if you even turn them backwards, they could make actually good like rocket engines or something. Like there's a couple of cool things you could do with this, but I'm more on the lines of using these as like rocket pods. Then you have some cool missiles. These are gonna be good if you take the new homing missiles and you got the rack that goes on the, you could put that in the back of your car and have these cool, nice missiles. And like I said, with the new homing missile rules, these are perfect for that. Again, super thin flash. That's gonna come off super easy. Look, it's coming off the sprue just by flicking it back and forth a little bit. And it's not breaking, like that's just a thin layer of flash. So thin. You got some more missiles, some more homing missiles, some more racks. Then on here, you have smaller missiles. These look more like tomahawks. Super cool. And then of course, some more mini guns, baby. <laughs> and everything is looking great. One mini gun is right here, came off the sprue. And look at that. It just has the nice mounts. These just look so nice on, I've, I've, I've seen some of these mounted on, on some of the cars on the Gaslands Facebook and they all look fantastic. So I ran out and got them and I'm pleased that I did. I'm giving you guys a close up look at these and you can see for yourself, they're just really nice parts. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Overall, all this stuff is fantastic. I mean, look at all this. It's just fantastic Gaslands goodness. I can't wait to get in there. I can't wait to build some cars using these bad boys. The bits all look fantastic. I'm giving this guy a solid 10. I'm super happy with everything. I can't believe how, how the flash just basically falls off the bits and it's gonna be very minimal work to get them looking fantastic. I mean, they're just easy to, easy to maintain, easy to pop off the sprue, easy to take off the flash. They're all just looking super fantastic and I can't wait to build with these things. Ken man, you did a great job. Um, um, you have a super satisfied customer here and I can't wait to get to using these, these things. Anyway, Everybody, get in your games, run out there. If you haven't, if you want to get yourself some tires, get in touch with Ken, grab some tires, take apart some cars, throw them on there. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Fantastic.